So I'm joined by my lovely friend, Martha. Thank you for stopping by today. Oh, my pleasure. Um, so we're all aware of the first, second, and third trimester, but little is known about women and heart disease in the fourth trimester. So why is the fourth trimester so important for women to be aware of? Yeah, the fourth trimester is something we coined as a term to describe the time after a woman gives birth because that seems to be the time that we can address the cardiovascular risk. When things occur during pregnancy, of course, the most important thing is taking care of the mother, taking care of the baby. And then after that, though, some of those predictors, things that happen there are predictors for future cardiovascular risk. So by, what I mean is, so if a woman has gestational diabetes, of course, during her pregnancy, we got to control the blood sugars. But after, just because it disappears, doesn't mean that the risk factor itself has disappeared. Gestational diabetes doesn't just increase your risk for future diabetes, but it increases your risk for cardiovascular disease. And women don't often get told that because it's gone. They delivered the baby, the gestational diabetes is gone, and nobody tells them about what they need to do next. Similarly with hypertension during pregnancy, whether you even have preeclampsia or not, even just having elevated blood pressure during pregnancy, medications or no medications, it doesn't matter. It's important to know because it increases your risk, again, not just for future risk of hypertension, but also risk for diabetes, risk for heart disease, risk for chronic kidney disease. All of those are really important issues, but it disappears again in that fourth trimester, if you will. Well, and I think a lot of women too, you know, they, they deliver their baby and they go home. And I mean, I think it was, I, 40% of women don't even come back for their follow-up. And I mean, if you're having a C-section, it's at two weeks. If you're having a vaginal birth, it's at what, like six weeks, if they even show up. And so really the management of their care after, you know, the birth of their child, I mean, that's really like what you were saying about the fourth tri trimester being the most important. And, and it's something that I feel like has definitely overshadowed and women aren't aware of the risks that yeah. they face. It's really shocking. I, you know, I'm not an obstetrician. Obviously, I'm a cardiologist. And when I started working with ACOG, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, I found out there that women actually don't follow up. And I didn't realize that. I thought after, you know, you have a baby, you don't even know what you're doing. So why wouldn't you go to the doctor? Apparently, just, you know, in especially in the U.S., the system is patients don't always have maternity leave. And so they are getting back to work. They don't always have time to go to the doctor's appointments, whether it's a two-week follow-up or a six-week follow-up. And I think that that is a big issue for why women don't show up in the United States. But as a result, we don't get to have those conversations. Additionally, obstetricians will often say, I can tell them that, but I don't know what they need to do. So what we've done, and I think this has made our clinic pretty unique, is we see them at their visit with their obstetrician or we schedule a follow-up but we make it clear why are you coming to see a cardiologist because the issue is resolved right but we need to educate women so at cardiosmart.org we've made these great posters to help practitioners to be able to inform women and i find them very useful to leave on the ob floors when they're actually delivering where they walk when they're like pacing waiting for this baby to come out we put up signs about what are the risks about the things that they had. Maybe they'll read it on their walk. We put it in the OB office in the, where they see their doctor after for those that show up. We send every woman home with a card if they had any of those events, if they had gestational diabetes, gestational hypertension, preterm labor, that they are preterm pre deliveries. Um, we send them home with that information of why it's important that you see a cardiologist or work on the preventative care. And that's the way that we've partnered to help women. It's not perfect, obviously you're right. There's a lot of women that don't go to their follow-up visits, but at, maybe they'll come at a different point if we give them the education of why. It, of course, when you give birth, your focus is all on that baby. But if you want to be there for your child's life, we try to tell these women, look, to be there, you've got to be there. And, and I, think, I think that's so important. I think it's important to educate and change perceptions. I mean, you can, you can give people information and 
they can look at it and throw it away. But it's how, how you change their perception and how, you know, a mother will go home and, you know, be kind of aware of those red flags per se if they're exhibiting any of these symptoms that, you know, okay, well, your appointment may not be for four or six weeks, but if you're exhibiting these symptoms to, to go in and, and to be seen um, sooner, and especially if during your pregnancy, you know, you have hypertension or you have some of these other risks. Um, I mean, you definitely, that's something that as a woman, you want to take care of. Because like you said, you want to be around for your child and you want to be healthy. Exactly. And the one thing I will say is that six week visit, that follow up is a bit of a interesting point. Actually, it was just sort of picked and pulled from the air. And I learned that from the obstetricians as well. That's why we renamed it the fourth trimester. Some people need to be seen more. Some people need follow-up visits. We need to be more encompassing of our care of women rather than putting it in a package of everything when you have a baby is wrapped in here. And even from a healthcare system or payment model, is that enough? It's not enough for every woman. It might be enough for some women. Well, and, and you're right. I mean, and then every situation is kind of different. So I guess it's more to the care of that patient and, and, and their follow up. And so thank you so much for stopping by and kind of giving us a little bit more information about the fourth trimester. Oh, so thank my you. My pleasure.